I like trolls, man. I love I love long seeds. I love seeing the the racers just have to deal with the grit and the nastiness of what the Mario Three randomizer can throw at them. Yeah, I I think unfortunately for Booba that might favor Mitch a little bit, um, but we'll see. Ah, oh, look at that! One. Oh wow, almost almost vanilla. <laughs> Yeah, you you saw one one and one two right next to each other, right? <laughs> yeah. And Booba having a little trouble here with these two fire enemies. Not what you want to see. I I can't stand the fire chomps or fire snakes. Nah, they, and they cause so much lag too. You just seem to drop inputs all the time on them. So um, really nicely done by both runners, not taking a death in that beginning. Yeah, Mitch did grab the Fire Flower, which is giving him a little bit of an advantage, but Booba did recover very nicely. Yeah, absolutely. Although, I he's not much of a believer in Fire Flower and Randomizer, actually, so um, I think we're going to see him probably at the first opportunity grab a leaf. Yeah, you saw they both had two different strategies going into 5-2 there. Mitch hugging the right wall, spamming Fireball, while Booba went to the left just to be sure of that cheap cheap. Yeah, I, I prefer a, a Booba strategy there, at least at the beginning portion, because part of the, the vanilla strat I do is I go to the right first. Well, if there's a boss pass there, let me tell you, he always has lunch when you do that. Mm-hmm. I've had that happen a few times myself. Ooh, and 5F2 so here yeah. from Mitch. Yeah, he's going to be able to speed strat this, um, which is very nice, especially with fire. He's going to get a little extra advantage on Booba here, too. Yeah, the trick with 5F2 for anybody who's wanting to learn this game, don't stop running. Keep running, make yeah. good jumps. The moment you stop, Even that's Even if when you it... don't have P-Speed, you know, just keep going. <laughs> right. The moment you stop, that's when it becomes difficult. So we see more World 5 here, actually. Um, we got 5-5. Uh, five, five. Um, it's really hard to get a setup where you can actually get the early P-Speed in this level, so um, you usually don't see that, but you can technically get it. And Booba's going to get some P-Speed here, which is nice. Um, where he's able to get that is going to be a bit of a time save. Yeah, nicely done by him. The nice thing about that stage is there's plenty of power-ups, so you never have to really worry about running out of items. Yeah, see, he, he did the strategy of, you know, I'm going to go slower for a second here, take the damage, just to go faster in the end. This is the third time we've seen 5-3 tonight. And should I mention this is our also third straight World 5 Sage? <laughs> yeah, that's something to note. So World 1 is World 1, but it's also World 5. And also that son doesn't know what to do with his life because he's only halfway existing. So there you go. Welcome to the joys of Randomizer. <laughs> Although, usually he gets despawned entirely after you move a little bit. So the yeah. fact that he remained is kind of surprising. <laughs> I was even starting to move there on Abuba when he got to the pipe. I gotta say, this uh, this race is close. It's close. I mean, Mitch has a little bit of a lead, but it's still anybody's race. Yeah, nice to have the power up in that fight against that fire bro, man. Oh, that one's rough when you just you gotta get him from, you know, some way, and he's he's below there. So you're like, oh man, what am I gonna do here? Yeah. You're sitting on the top was... part of, of the bricks, kind of debating what do you whether to jump down or not. Yeah, when you're small, Mar, you're like, I'm going to wait for you to shoot two fireballs. I'm going to do this really fast. No, if you don't jump. Yeah, and they jump. Always jump. Oh, almost always jump. Yeah, absolutely. So we're looking, I want to say about nine to ten second difference here between the two of them. Yeah, Booba actually had a really nice speed strat there at the tail that saved him a little extra time um, in that airship. You know, I like when you enter World 7 and you see two stages you don't have to play right away. You're like, at least there are two stages not in my way. That's right. Good way to start. You have one way to go. 
so you know you're on the right path already. Although, getting trolled by that lock there, so... This is where the divergence occurs, and you know, if you're gonna pick a stage, I think this is one you'd like to pick, right? Yeah. Hand stage with the hammer bros. And a frog suit, that's definitely worth it. Oh, nice clip by oh. Abuba there. <laughs> First try with a tail. Wow. Not easy. Mitch I mean, does find the right route, but he's going to need to play a fort to build a bridge. Yeah, that's that's the problem, isn't it? Finding finding that fort you got to play. So I think Booba has the right route because he's going to have to play 7-7 um, seven, seven there. That will be the hand stage, but that did give him another pipe on that island on the end. So Booba does have the right path to get to the forts. Yeah, I think Mitch is going to figure it out here, so he's going to have a path there, but he's got to play this level, right? So Looks like Booba's a little bit lost, though. Did a couple pipe transactions he didn't didn't need to do. So yeah, what was the item Mitch got again? I forgot. So that um, might loom large, and Booba's got the exact item he needs, and so was Mitch. Mitch's gonna have it. So um, we're gonna see him just run right for that fortress. He's like, "Yep, yeah, not not taking any chances here." And the nice thing for both of them is they're gonna be able to tell exactly what they need to do after this fortress. You know, if it spawns the bridge, they're home free. My guess is it's not going to do that, but um, we'll see. You never know. Is a P-Wing? All right. Let's find out here. Boob is heading back. Yep. Yeah. So they both have ways to get there. Um, I think Boob must have forgotten um, that he's got a way to get actually to where he needs to go, so. Yeah, Mitch remembers now. He's like, all right, I got to go through that pipe, and then I got to go to down, and... Well, Booba is on the right track, so... Luckily, with that island having multiple pipes, doesn't need to backtrack too much. Yeah, but... so both runners in this very short stage here together, so... Maybe five seconds between them right now? Yeah. So, 7 of 2. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 7 of 1 and 7 of 2 love to be paired together. Of course, this is the required for it because, you know, why not? Why not? Yeah. I'm going to troll one up, no star, so. Oof. Nice jump by Booba, but it still takes the hit. Man. Almost in sync there. Oh. <laughs> All the fire piranhas. Oof. Definitely, that's one of the harder pinch pipes there with the two fire piranhas. They take longer to get off the screen, plus they're firing projectiles at you. Yeah, one thing I noticed Mitch did that I thought was very cool and I didn't realize you could do is you can just run through it standing up. Then that top one won't actually hit you. So that was kind of interesting. So yeah, so Mitch does take a few second lead over there over Booba, but this race is still really close. And it, yeah, Booba's gonna have to play an extra stage to get through, unfortunately. He's gonna have to play 7 8. Yeah. Here. Although he had access to that pipe. Um, or no, he didn't. That's right. He didn't. Yeah, yeah he, he would have to play the hammer stage, which Mitch played earlier. So yeah, they both actually ended up playing the stage at the end of the day. Ludwig not giving up too much of a fight there, so... Mitch is moving on to World 3. Yeah, and they both have hammers, so Mitch is not going to be at a, a disadvantage with the hammers. And Booba's still got the, the plant stage to play here, too, so... Oh, 
let's see what we got here. And World 3s. And a pipe right away, so I'd like to see that, you know, get me out of that part and... Kind of a nice World 3 there with the pipe locations and you're able to find a stage pretty quickly that gets you to a fort. Yeah, so there's two options there, and Mitch took the second, actually, for which fort to play. And since he already went through the pipe, I don't blame him. So yeah, it's 50-50 it's at that point. Although I think a lot of people probably would have just gone to that first fort, because you didn't, I didn't see any locks. Um, mm -hmm. So I can almost guarantee there's going to be one before the uh, the castle here. Did we see what item they got from the World 7 letter? No, I don't think he's. Uh, Mitch has opened his inventory yet, so... So we know which pipe it is already. Um... I think Booba, yeah, I think Booba's gonna go for it. He's gonna check the pipe for sure. However, he still has to play a fort. Yeah, maintaining a tail there would have been huge for Booba because you can actually speed throughout the end of here, guaranteed. Oh, well, there's your buddy. But yeah, it looks like count. they got a hammer suit, so Bowser inventory obtained. Good jump there by Booba. You never know when that fire chomp's gonna come up. Especially with the black background on him. Ooh. So, I'm guessing it was the other Ford. Unfortunately for Booba, um, he's gonna end up doing the extra Ford here. Yeah, Mitch's not fine. I think he was looking for a star there. It doesn't get the star, so... Still get through the stage pretty pretty easily and take out take down Wendy. Price he's not going yeah. for the fire kill. It's kind of a risk on these stages um, that are uneven because she can actually run up them even though she can't she doesn't jump. It doesn't make any sense. She jumps like halfway up the step and she still just teleports to the top of it and runs into you. You know when you put nine fireballs into her, just classic Wendy stuff basically. Yeah, I'm Booba getting the bad news there. He's going to have to go back and play two more stages. So right now, Mitch has about a three-stage lead on him. Yeah, and um, he's got to remember which pipe. So he sees the pipe there. Hopefully, he can get himself rerouted here. Mitch is in the 6F1, the escalator for it here. I'm gonna go for that clip again. Doesn't get it. Oof, that that cha or that fire chop, man. <laughs> They're out for blood, I tell you. So there's a clip in that um, fortress. If you do it at that door, you'll actually go to the boom boom room. But um, it's kind of a long clip. Hey, look, 610, a really easy stage. <laughs> and every vanilla runner just <laughs> simultaneously threw their hands up in rage. You know I'm going to say that every time it shows up now, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely. Even if I'm not counting with you, I'm still going to say it. And our viewer count just dropped by 200. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, guys. There aren't that many runners. Come on. <laughs> ah, so playing the tower in World 5 there, that actually would have saved you a stage. Well, in reality, it would have been the same amount of time, so... 
So it's worth noting, Mitch saw the uh, fire flower there, and uh, he chose not to grab it because you lose fewer frames damage boosting than with a leaf than you do with a fire flower. It's like seven, but I mean, it's it, still you know, it wasn't exactly. It's a conscious decision. See, I didn't know that. See, I'm learning something today. We're all about education here. Yeah, see exactly what I was talking about. Did you see her jump? I didn't see her jump. She just ran up that like it was a Stairmaster. Oh, Wendy. Mission to World 7 airship here for World 4. He's gonna take on Roy Koopa. See if he behaves today or if he's got his moon boots on. Yeah, see, that that is um, worth noting, Leslie. That was... You know, not an earthquake, Wendy, because clearly she is a stairmaster. So, yeah, Mitch with the um, entire world lead here. So, it'll be interesting to see what Booba decides here if he makes the same decisions, which he really needs to at this point to keep pace. Yeah, because he's gonna play this fort, and honestly, if he plays the tower. It's the same, it might actually be a little faster, really, depending on how he plays it. So yeah, let's see uh, what the pipe maze has in store for us today. I think he does have a hammer. He should, I believe, yeah. So yeah, it's it's definitely a one-stage skip. I don't see any locks, so it's looking very likely a fort's required. It is worth noting since a fort's in your way, I don't think this is as much of a gamble um, to just skip those forts. It's, I think it's kind of a gamble to end up playing them when you end up with forts in your way, but it just kind of depends. So we're going to find out exactly what we have working here. Nice speed strat there. Wow, that's so smooth. I love it when they pulled it off. The 4F1. Yeah, there. and getting the star too with the instant kill here. The dream. Getting the bro, as we uh, like to call it, because it's the upside down one. <laughs> Mitch does pick up a cloud, so that's going to be nice for later on. So Booba doing some vanilla strats here actually didn't have the damage boost, and he kept the fire flowers. So. Oof, that boss bass was hungry. Mm -hmm, he was going for him. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, it looks like Booba made the same decision that Mitch did. Um, so he's not going to gain any time in terms of, you know, fewer ooh. levels and ooh. Not with that either. I think he just may have forgot where he was on the on the airship. Did we, on Mitch's screen, did we see um, if there was a bridge that was completed yet? Because that bridge always gets completed as far as I know. I did not see, unfortunately. We'll find out though here shortly. Because it that would indicate there's one lock. Okay, bridge isn't complete, so there's one lock still at that last part. The question is where it's at. Um, right. And, you know, it could be before the pipe, and you just take the pipe and you're home free, right? So. Mm hmm. Oof, there's Roy with his hip. He's got his moon boots on. I mean, that man didn't stop at the moon. He went straight to Mars. Yeah. That's an unfortunate death for Booba. It's, with Roy being the way he is, there's not much he can do about that. His hitbox gets really wonky when he jumps like that. So, yeah, he's home free here. So... It's worth noting that, uh, you know, if Booba plays any of those other forts, he's unfortunately going to lose more time. 
does take another death there on a miss jump. Yeah. Leslie's pointing out, it does look like it was an eaten input, like he just didn't get that input he pushed in. Yeah, he's just got to steady himself here and uh, move forward. You know, he's. I, I definitely think we're going to see gambles from this point because he's got to know he's behind. Yeah, Mitch with a nice off screen grab, so that's going to save him a few seconds here. Yeah, Mitch just doing Mitch things, you know. It's just another day in the office, I guess. We have all seen it before. <laughs> Absolutely. And getting another hammer suit for his trouble. So yeah, I see a fort at the end of the world there. So we'll see. And it's... So actually, I think the right choice there was to play that first fort because now if this isn't the fort, he's going to have to do the extra screen transition. So since, you know, it's 50-50 either way, um, you're better off just playing the first one you see and on average you're going to save time doing it that way. That's true. Yeah, I mean, it's, again, 50-50. So, and usually 3-up-2 does build a bridge. It usually does. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It's you just never know with World Four. World Four can be such a gamble like this, where you know you don't have to play any stages to get to the forts, right? Right. And so, yeah, as predicted, Booba is going to gamble here, and this is absolutely the right choice. Um, I think he's going to pick up a little time not doing the extra um, pipe transitions that Mitch ended up doing before he made this decision. So um, it's definitely the sort of decision making he needs to get back in this. Yeah, absolutely. He does, uh, that does build a bridge. So Mitch will be in the world five airship here. So yeah, he made the right choice. I mean, 50, yeah, 50 and called heads and got heads. So let's see if Iggy behaves himself. Good fight there by Mitch there. So he takes down Iggy in three hits. That's kind of a vanilla fight. Yeah, I didn't give him too much trouble there, which is, you know, nice with Iggy. He does a good job, uh, Mitch does, and, you know, if you're worried about them sky jumping like they tend to do for whatever reason, uh, you definitely want to get the side jumps off on them. So they'll, they'll open up before they land and you'll be able to hit them, you know, a little little before they land and they won't be able to jump and you shouldn't take damage. But if you're a little early, of course, then they'll pop out at the same time and you'll take damage. So there's a little bit of risk there, but I think overall it's probably the better strategy. Yeah, I agree with that. We found the world one fort here, so he's actually just gonna play. He's not gonna go for the item. Yeah, I missed the world configuration, so he's choosing to break the lock to save stages, is my guess. Yeah, I believe it was blocking a pipe, if I'm not mistaken. So the pipe, the other pipe, is not on screen. So okay. Could save a stage or two, could uh, not save yeah. a single stage. You don't, you don't know. This is going to, yeah, this is a big deal, I think. Well, it's going to save at least one. So it's definitely worth just sacrificing a little extra time there. So we got seven. Yeah, this is really the... the yeah, this, he hates the stage. He's he's having a good time right now, I can tell you. It's worth noting that, you know, that was my key for Mitch was, you know, not making some of the routing mistakes we've seen him um, make, and he hasn't yet. You know, the only difference in that second race was Booba had an item he didn't have. Yeah, so he's really locked in here. He... He smells blood in the water. He's wanting to get this victory and move on into the uh, semifinals. 
Yeah, I think that's really smart there, that cloud usage guaranteed to go the level. And being that you're at the end of the world, I mean, you know, there's not much time, more time to use it where it'll get its max value, so. Yep, and here we get to the 7-3 beta stage. It's always interesting to see him play the betas because I know he doesn't play them that often, so. Yeah, I know he struggles with this one because he, you know, especially this end part, I've seen him take some deaths there sometimes. <laughs> Seed's actually been kind of a fast seed, too. I'm guessing it's going to be another 33, 32 around there. Unless World yeah. decides they'd be free. I mean, if they're really lucky, it could be our first sub-30, right? It's possible. Oh, uh, we had a... We had a 29.59 from Paradox. So, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he really put on a show that race. Yeah, unfortunately for Booba, he probably is like, man, this this seat's pretty short thus far, despite all the mistakes I've made, so he probably feels like he's significantly behind. And, and at this uh, point... The way, yeah. Yeah, just the way the world's played out, there's just nowhere for him to gain time. No, not at all. The, uh... I mean, when, you're, when you know you're behind the race, the best thing you can do is just keep pushing forward and give it your best. Yeah, and he's going to see that, unfortunately, he lost the 50-50 the, uh, there, and Mitch won it, so. We got a pipe there to start World 8. We got both tank icons there. 8-2 and a hand yeah. stage. Oof. I think it's smart to go back and check these tanks out and this is the fort so you know you don't have to play the other one this is great intel and if this breaks the lock he's going to be really happy and if it doesn't at least he knows you know it's giving him information yeah for world eight this is actually pretty linear so considering you gotta play this so you go back and if that opens the lock that's saving him a ton of time Mm, not sure why he decided to play that one. I, I think he was th thinking it was another stage, but realized at the moment he went in, he's like, wait, that's not it. <laughs> Tunnel vision. <laughs> yeah. I think we've all done that. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, of course it breaks the lock, so... Uh, <clears throat> you know, he's going to gamble and hope he doesn't need that other stage, and I think that's warranted since it's behind a level. If that's the one that ends up being required, you're like, eh, you know, whatever, yeah. I'll take it, I guess. So we don't see any other locks, so there's definitely going to be bridges, uh, I believe. So I, I think he should start playing some forts. Yeah. And hey, there's a World 6 fort that'll make a LOZ Cars fan happy. We always see a World 6 fort in World 8. And it's the last one, too, so, you know, everybody's theory is going to be that, oh, this is the one, right? Because it's the end world for it. Just like we said before, 3F2, that, that tends to be the one to build bridges, so... Yeah. So we'll see what this does on the screen here. Okay, so that, that destroyed a bridge. Or not a bridge, a lock. Some pointless pipes there for him. So yeah, this, uh, so we do see a lock, so this is gonna be, that's gonna be the level he builds the bridge then. So he does need to play the airship, so he's got two stages left, um, although at this point it's very straightforward to him in terms of what he has to do, so. going to use the P-Wing here. I believe this is... I want to say it's 6-7? Uh, yep. It's 6-7. Okay. 
Just a lovely level. Oh yeah. Well, no auto scroller, so it's a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the sub thirty dream is dead. Unfortunately, he's got to play two more stages yet before Bowser's Castle. So, and might as well play it. He's got to come back across it. And yeah, it's the stage, so it's not too bad. Yeah, you got to have really good luck to not get grabbed by a hand stage and go back across it and not get grabbed again. I, uh, I feel like he's probably going to complain about the hands in the interview afterwards. That's just my thought. Just after that first CD was uh, in World 8 as well, but we'll see. Yeah, that one grabbed him quite a few times. And Booba's making his way through the seventh world here. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he can catch up just because it's it's very obvious what Mitch has to do from this point, so. It is ri Mitch's race to lose here, so. But I mean, anything can happen. Maybe, Maybe his power can. goes out. <laughs> Maybe he kicks his console. You never know. Maybe someone else kicks his console. <laughs> Although I'm sure the cats have been shepherded out of the room. That's what I have to do at my house. All the animals are kicked out when I'm racing. So you did have to do a two cycle though for the World A4, which is with the randomizer, that's actually pretty normal. Yeah. That that I think it was a ghost before the door, right? Usually when you see the ghost there, it's tough to get past him. Getting a little lost here for Mitch, but he'll figure it out. Yeah, he's got enough time that I, I still think he's, you know, gonna figure this out. He's gonna have to have probably the worst Bowser's Castle in history. He'll have to die at least 11 times. 12, I think. Yeah, 12, 12 times. I don't think it's gonna happen, though. This controller just dies, and... <laughs> I know he's got spares, though. <laughs> they all just die simultaneously. Mustard is calling out. He needs to kill a Bowser in a frog suit. That's I fair. I mean, is it I really a victory? Cost him, that cost him the championship last year, though. To be fair, had he done it correctly, he still would have won. But I believe he died. Alright, so now Mitch is in go mode here. He's always gambling on this, and it just, it's... Of course, you know, last race, when he lost, it works out. Right. That clip actually saves time, because you're able to skip the steps here. As long as you keep moving forward, um, these waffles will not hit you, so... I know there is one pattern that makes it look like it's really close, but I've never actually been hit by any of them. So. Yeah, I didn't say the times I've pulled that clip off, I've never been touched by them. It makes me nervous, but never been hit. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Mitch taking out Bowser here and uh, getting the victory in the series here, but uh, it was definitely a good series. Um, Particularly the first two races, I know Booba's gonna be disappointed by the result in this one, but you know, especially with a seed this short, sometimes this sort of stuff happens and there's not much you can do about it. Yeah, I I think Booba played really well considering uh, just this this race. Um, don't know if it's just fatigue or just, you know, nerves, but those few deaths in World 5, or in the World 7 airship, that really hurt. And that's kind of what put the nails Yeah. Yeah, that's mostly the difference in this race, I think, is just that airship. Um, yeah. Yo! Yo, Mitch! We are now welcomed by the winner of this series. Um, how's it going, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Coughlin, thanks for all the stars. 
on my uh, second race, <laughs> by the way. It's really nice getting those power-ups, and then after using a cloud, you give me a star, and then you gave me another star, and then... Oh, guess what I get? Guess what else I got? A star. <laughs> what I really wanted um, to ask you about is uh, your thoughts on the hands. How do you how do you like the hands, Mitch? What did I get pulled in by? Five of them? Yeah, the one hand pulled you in four straight times before it let you cross. I know that. Yeah, and then I think later in that world, I crossed two hands. Yep. In the you dark did. area, and it just. Oh, man. I. Okay, so. I took a chance. I did the assumption I was behind for this last race. Did the first level. Was a fortress. I, we were stuck by locks anyway, so it would have told me a lot. Yeah. And then. I did the second one, it was the level, so I knew from then any fort I did could be the way. And then I did the the main fort, broke the lock, so I was like, okay, well I have to do the airship looking sprite. Did that one, and as I was passing by I saw it broke that lock, so I knew right away it's the it's that ship right there. The boat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I knew it it had to be the you had to do the airship and the the boat, um, for sure. I don't know if you ended up having to do the vanilla fort or not. I know it did break a lock in the dark, but I forget where it was. Um Uh it it broke a lock somewhere in the upright area. I don't know where it was. I think it was blocking the navy ship. Well there's still one okay, block in so... the navy or maybe there's two in front of it, because there's still one block in the maybe. navy. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So we had to do all of them. Look, see, yeah, he, it's because he doesn't want to go past level two and do the Air, Air Force one. I get it, man. Yep. Okay, but I'm once curious. you got to that point, it, it was very obvious to you, and, you know, I mentioned that, of what you had to do, so you probably felt pretty comfortable. Once you saw that, you're like, okay, I know exactly where I need to go. Yep. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because the locks kept breaking in places that were so annoying, but, like, I was still able to continue on with the path, so it's like... Right. Um, let me. I am guessing I got extremely lucky in World Six. Um, you or did. did. Both? He, you both did the same thing actually in World Six. Uh, he had a lot of trouble on the World Four airship. I think it was right or no, the World Seven airship. Uh, he took like three or four deaths there, unfortunately. Oh, and that kind of cost him the the race in this one. Um, did you, did you, did you enjoy race, the races, Gimp? Yeah, man, they were great. Um, I was, I, I saw the stars. And I know. I'm like, Mitch is gonna say something about the stars. I just know. It. I was, <laughs> of course. I was watching you and Hacks or practice the races, and I might just mention the Fred now make a star only mode for you. <laughs> Dude, of course. It just wouldn't be randomizer without you know a complaint of something. Definitely the stars. I will admit though, I shouldn't have clouded and small Mario the airship. We we noticed that the second race when you did that I'm like wow he's taking a big gamble and I'm like I I didn't want to say to curse you but at the same time when Morton was having earthquakes I'm like uh it's making me sweat over here oh yeah you have the right to because I yeah. I, ended, I inevitably messed it up that's that downward tilted the whole thing I'm surprised I I kind of caught up a little bit throughout the throughout it but nope. He had a really significant advantage after World 6 because he had a hammer, so um, he was able to skip most of that world actually, and you had to play most of it too, so, and you had to burn some inventory um, as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you did have a pretty good routing though, uh, in the second race on World 5 when you ran into Atlantis and you died, you immediately saw that pipe and you went straight to it and just skipped the level entirely. Yeah. He actually used the cloud to get past it. Exactly, yeah, because I had pre- Obviously, already used mod. I was like, oh, thank goodness, because like, if I didn't, oh man, if that didn't end up being like that, I, that would have been bad. That's true. That's yeah. That was, true. that was really heads up. Um, yeah, he, he just kind of took a commanding lead in that second one. There wasn't much you could do about it. Um, from that point, it How was, did race it was really go? significant. Um, so it was it was even until the World Seven airship. I'd say that kind of. Where, when was the one. World 7 airship? Like, like in World 7? It was in World 5. You guys were technically in World 4, but it was World 5. Okay, so the, it's over yeah. the halfway point. Cool. How did yeah, it, did we both do like... the forts in World 7? Yes. Yeah. Did we both have the same routing, pretty much? You guys were almost... No. No, you took di two different routes, but when you guys both got into 7F2, you were entering at the exact same time. <laughs> cool. Can't wait to see that later. 
Yeah, so I think he ended up playing an extra stage or two in that world, um, and you had a lead after that, but it, it didn't really lengthen until, you know, that point. It was really close. Um, I mean, the other two races were, <laughs> like, neck and neck the whole time, so... Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know if it was a good idea to check the Bowser door either for the dry bones. And I was scared, man. If I didn't get that clip in Bowser's castle, the the waffles, man, they probably would have screwed me over so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but we had like nine hammer suits. Yeah, that's the nice thing. Um, I've noticed a lot of the bracket races don't. I mean, most of them that I've seen so far, they've had to beat it with just a super mushroom or a frog suit trying to get uh, through yeah. it. Not <laughs> very many people had the power up they needed, so. Yo, what are the odds? The only power up I had left and the last fortress with the frog suit ended up being the water one. Yeah, we mentioned that where that was a very value usage. <laughs> Not value enough, but got the job done. <laughs> so yeah, Booba about to finish up here. Um, gets his kill on Bowser. Lucky, man. If he would have beat me this second game, I would have been relieved, man. I would have been yeah. stress-free, but now I'm still <laughs> trapped here. <laughs> we'll give Ibuba so, props. He did get that clip in the second race in Bowser's Castle with the door. That was uh, that was pretty slick. Oh, by the elevator right at the start? Yes. Nice, mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, that's like world record strats in, in uh, the old any percent no wrong world. So he does finish with uh, an official time of 40.47. And uh, we'll see if uh, he's wanting to come in and talk to us for a little bit. Nobody wants to talk so to you, obviously... I, I know. I mean, we I'm used you. to it. So, so you're obviously going to get the winner of Macobra 52 and Paradox 64. Um, are you familiar with either of those two guys? And what do you think about uh, that I matchup? I am familiar. They were, they were in the tournament last year. Uh, I don't know about Macobra, yeah. but I know Paradox is. And... Uh, I mean, to have made it this far, they definitely have a pretty good understanding of how randomizer works. So, I mean, every game, I'm like, I stress out because it's, you know, it's anyone's game. As long as you just try your best, then uh, there's not much else you can do. Yeah, Those guys, for sure. Man, it's stressful, man. Yeah, I, um, McCober did win the one shot tournament we had last summer, so he is oh, definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. someone to look out for. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you felt a little more prepared for this one than maybe you were some of the other ones. Yep, definitely. Because I had actually like played through some of them and like learned some things um, playing through the last couple days. Like even that, that Twisty Castle, I would never have done that had I not practiced. And I think I've made that mistake in previous games. Like in World 5, not, not understanding the, the downward pipes with the Twisty Castles and stuff like that. Although the better, the better play was to take the twisty castle, wouldn't it have been in World 5? Yes, yes I think so. That would have been is... just a better play. Take the beat the fort, the bridge, the twisty castle would have taken you to the pipe right to the end, right? Yeah, it actually it would have saved time, but not a we're talking like maybe 5 10 seconds, but still that's 5 10 seconds to save. It's hard to argue with the twisty castle when you have a level and then there's a pipe there, right? Like I mm -hmm. I want the pipe. I don't want the twisty castle. <laughs> And I think we're joined uh, by Booba. Yeah. yeah, hello. Ooh, you're pretty quiet. Let's see if I can turn you up. Hey, what's going on, Booba? Hey, GG Mitch. Yeah, okay, hold on. Is it Bubba or Booba? Uh, it's Booba. <laughs> okay, Booba. Now I don't have to say it wrong forever. <laughs> right on. Dude, good races, man. Good races. I know, I know. Well, Did you hear what one. happened race two? Um, I don't know what happened on race two. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was horrible. The cloud and then the death. That's always the worst thing that you can have happen, really. Sucks. Oh. Yeah, he'd use a cloud and a hammer in world two and then died at Morton and it sent him back. So yeah. he had to work his way back through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laugh it up, did man. Did he die, <laughs> die because of bad uh, hitbox? Uh, not really. I underestimated the height of the jump. I kind of like oh. jumped into like his neck chin when yeah. you know. So I wasn't even close to landing on his head. I just 
improperly time my jump. I heard you had some uh, World 4 shenanigans airship. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, the uh, the world the world seven airship you had in the last race that that kind of did you in there, Booba. I know, I know. First a bad hit. No, I don't remember what happened first. First, but I, I had a bad hit box and I died. Then I missed a jump and I died. <laughs> then I thought I was on another part of the ship and I jumped and I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the mind the mind games of randomizer. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't know how I was doing until there, but I, I was pretty sure I was going to lose after that. I don't know if you know this, but, close, we, but we had to do every fortress in that last world eight there. Uh, no, I, 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 honestly, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I obviously, know. I did everything. I checked all the pipes like twice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw you walking around checking the same pipes. Dude, yeah, I, I was totally lost. Same yeah. on world seven. It was terrible. World 7, yeah. I didn't feel lost because I, I took one of the hand levels right away. Um, I did a fortress after a hand oh. level, and it took me straight to um, the last section of the world. So yeah. I did like the piranha plant quick, and I was like, okay, well, I did the wrong fort, so I just had to make my way back to the other fort. Yeah, I, I think I... No, I, I didn't do that, but I already had done, I, I think, at least one level before realizing that was the path. Yeah, dude, it happens, man. Yeah. Well, at least I've relieved you of the stressfulness of the <laughs> randomizer tournament. Yeah, well, I I didn't expect to win, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but... Everyone says that I'm trash at these things. Like, I make such stupid mistakes sometimes. But I mean, no, I guess what... we all do, right? Yeah, no, we all do, and you have, like, all the skills for playing SMB3 for years. Mm -hmm. that, that is a huge advantage, to be honest. Sometimes. <laughs> Unless yeah, I do yeah. some things. In the end, randomizer is basically luck most of the time. Yeah, exactly. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Yeah. What? Well, that was a fun tournament. That was very me. fun. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm glad we got to the match three thing. That's all it makes for a really cool, exciting uh, viewing experience. Yeah, exactly. Same, same here. Um, well, GG and good <laughs> luck with your next match. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, Booba, before you go, I do want to say, do you have any thoughts on the randomizer to anybody who's new and interested to it, or just anything in general when it comes to this tournament? Um. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Um. If you haven't played like ever the the vanilla game, the original game. Uh, it might be intimidating at first, but you can do it even without that. If you have played the original game, it's uh, it's not easier, but you are used to the mechanics, so give, give it a try. It's fun. Sometimes it's painful. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't know. In the end, I'm I having a lot of good times with this. Um, the tournament was amazing for me. Right on. Um, yeah. You should try it. Yep. Agreed. You want to have high blood pressure? Definitely get up in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, be patient. Be patient. All right, guys. Any, anything else to add before uh, we do the outro here? No. I, honestly, anyone in chat who's contemplating doing this, do it. You guys watch. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone makes good plays, like, join next year's or whenever the next tournament is. It's a lot of fun, and, and anything goes. It's random, man. Just join. Let's get, like, a lot more people in next time. Yeah, please. And, um, well, for me, thank you to everyone, because that was my last match of the tournament. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, don't be. Don't... <laughs> oh, Everybody man. is playing with you. I had, I had a little hope, but not too much. <laughs> and now well, I'm done. All right, guys, take it easy. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, next time, until next time, guys. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Yep. Bye. Next week. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks to both of them for, you know, bringing it to game three, giving us a little extra entertainment there. Uh, Want to shout out to Gimp Extreme for joining me here. It was a lot of fun, man. Um, yeah, we get to do it again tomorrow. Blast. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. man.